Look, no guards. I think it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'd say good. We can march straight in. There sure are a lot of Molochim posted here. They're probably here to protect the Therian, right? One would assume. The exorcist controlling them can't be far then. Be careful. This Nordal. It looks a lot like Grimoire and Bienfu. I agree. Those two are positively gloomy, but this doll seems calming, yet glamorous, too. Like I said, a quiet radiance. Yeah. You think so? I think it's more lethargic or absent-minded. Like I can't tell what's going on in its head. Either way, I'm a thousand times cuter than that thing. What's cute about you? <laughs> I don't know. There's definitely something off about it. It's charming, but a little ominous. You think so? You think this looks like a baby? I remember when my sister was about as small as that doll. She had the tiniest little hands, and she tried to grip my pinky as best she could. Really? I'd take my pinky with her fingers wrapped around it and poke her cheek, and she'd just be all smiles. I swore to myself I'd always do whatever I could to protect her. Once she got a little older and started fixing meals, lots of weird things began to happen around us. Wherever we went, she was in danger. That's when I first realized what it was that I carried. That the cause of all my sister's pain was my blessing, my reaper's curse. So, you left her behind and went on your search for a way to break the curse. Right. And that's when I met Eifried. It was from him that I first heard about the Nordals. I guess we'll never know for sure unless we gather them all. Hmm? What is it? I think something good will happen once they're all together. 
Why do you say that? Well, because we found this doll, you shared some of your past with us, so I think we should get the other three, so more happy stuff happens. <laughs> Hard to argue with you there.
how's Medissa been acting? She's calm. It looks like letting her in on the truth worked as well as we thought it might. Good. Maybe she'll be easier to control now. Halt! Who are you? Sorry to catch you down. So, Medissa really is here. But what's this about the truth and controlling her? She's a Therian! Third time's the charm, eh, kid? Yeah. You're Medissa? I am. And who might you be? We're like you. We carry grudges against the Abbey. And Shepherd Artorias. It's gonna be okay. We came to get you out of here, Medissa. There's no escape. What? Please, don't give up. I can- No, you don't understand. There's no escape for you. If you dare sully Shepherd Artorias' ideals and the light the Abbey shines upon the world, I will kill you all! She's the Abby's lackey now. Way to jinx it, Rokuro. They just keep coming. 
That snake woman keeps summoning them. If we don't go after her directly, there'll be no end to it. Your left hand. <laughs> don't tell me you're the Calamity. Why are you doing this, Medissa? Why fight for the Abbey after they forced you to become a Therian? They didn't. I became one of my own free will. But your daughter... slain at an exorcist's hands! You must hate the Abbey for that, don't you? Oh, I feel hate. Toward a world where demons spawn from the people's malevolence! You know about malevolence? The exorcist told me the truth. Diana turned into a demon because of the malevolence she radiated. I knew what I had to do. Become a Therian, and devour malevolence so that such a tragedy would never repeat itself. It matters not what dreadful form my body may take. I will revive Enominat and change this wretched world! If that's how it is, fine. We'll take you by force! Your death will not be in vain! This woman! She's just a breathing mother! It doesn't matter! Crush them all! Run, Cycle! 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 Run, over. Curse you, Lord of Calamity. Lord of Calamity? That's the name of the Demon Lord who will bring about the Age of Chaos. The unrepentant embodiment of malevolence whose blind pursuit of self-gratification will rain destruction upon the world. The irredeemable, uncontrollable personification of human sins. An evil like you! Demon, Therian, Lord of Calamity, call me whatever you like. But if I'm the supposed Lord of Demons, then you're just a minion to be used as I please, nothing more. No, I refuse. What happened to my Diana was my fault. That's why I will fight you until my dying breath! Stop! Don't get in my way! No! Enough mothers have died. I won't let you join them! Eleanor and Kamawana, they both lost their mothers too. It's a terrible thing. Kamawana? A little girl that the Abbey forcefully made into a Therian. Her mother tried to save her, but she failed. All she could do was to offer her own life to fill her child's empty stomach. <sighs> Kamawana's been crying ever since. She misses her mother. If you die here, I can only imagine how sad that would make your Diana. Diana! You don't need me anymore, Mom. I get it. You love this new dad more than your own daughter! No, honey. I did it for you. But you really thought I stopped loving you, and the malevolence made you into a demon. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Diana. Medissa. She'll be all right. 
She's just unconscious. Let's grab her and haul her back. I'll place her under a binding arc, just in case. Hmm. Gotta hand it to the Abbey. Very resourceful, taking advantage of Medissa's regrets like that. Making her into a Therian who would do their bidding. It's... It's just so cruel. Who cares? Reason above all, no? It's true. The way I feel goes against all reason. There's no telling what'll happen to Helifes once we take Medissa out of here. And yet I'm doing exactly that, all on account of my own hang-ups. Even crushing Medissa's honest resolve. According to reason, malevolence is the fault of the individual. You assume no responsibility or guilt for what happens to them. I refuse to turn a blind eye to the consequences of my actions. I chose this path to seek the truth, not to deny it. If I'm to betray reason, then that is the very least I should do. You're too much, you know that? You and Medissa both. Quit overthinking things. Just blame all the suffering on the Lord of Calamity. Makes life easier. Velvet, I... I'm not trying to cheer you up. I'm just saying it doesn't bother me. Whatever's coming, I can handle it. wondering, do you think I hurt Medissa, saying that stuff to her back there? I suppose you might have. But I was thinking the exact same things you were. Losing a mother. It's always a tragedy. I'm glad you stepped in and stopped her. Thanks. <sighs> that Eleanor. I swear, she feels way more responsibility for everything than she needs to. You think we need to worry? What if she pushes too far and erupts with malevolence? Malevolence is born out of many things. Eleanor is different. She has a purity of heart that won't be tainted by the emotions that create malevolence. So she's probably okay? For now, at least. But human hearts can be fickle things. Who knows what the future holds? Eh, I doubt you got anything to worry about. For most exorcists, purity is a construct of the Abbey's teachings. But Eleanor, she's the real deal. <laughs> she's not your average exorcist, I'll give you that. Purity is handy for any exorcist. Everybody's got an ego and certain internal contradictions to some degree. To be a normal human is to live carrying malevolence. It's just how much you let it control you that varies. 
I guess malevolence might just be a fact of life, huh? But Artorius can't accept that. <laughs> Well, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Let's slip through town and head for Titania before that changes. So this is your secret hideout. Once I get free, he won't stand a chance. You all had better sleep with one eye open. Look how worried I am. Welcome back! That's Kamoana. <sighs> She's the same age as Diana. Did the Abbey really turn someone so young into a Therian? Would you be able to talk to her? Is this a trick? Kamoana may be a Therian, but deep down, she's still a normal little girl who misses her mother. I can't do anything to console her, no matter what I try. But if it were you... You okay? You can call me Medissa, all right? Do I scare you, honey? A little, but not as much as Velvet and Dial. But don't you think I'm scary? I had a bad dream earlier. My mommy said I looked scary and that she... She didn't want me anymore. She would never... Your mother would never think that about her daughter. But how do you know? Because I'm... I'm a mother, too. Mothers always love their children, no matter what. No matter if we die. No matter how the world changes. There's nobody who loves you more in the world than... than... It's okay. You don't have to cry. I hope Kamawana and Medissa won't have to feel so lonely anymore. Yeah, trying to stop the waterworks gets old fast. Listen, if it's not too personal, was your mother, uh... She's dead. I lost her when I was even younger than you. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. It just means we've got things in common. So no feeling sad and alone, okay? Oh no, I'm fine. I don't feel lonely or anything, I swear! What's gotten into you? You're so strange sometimes. N no, I'm not! Eleanor, I'll have you watch over Kamoana and Medissa. Yes, of course. I'd be honored. Thank you. Are exorcists supposed to be so polite to a grand poobah of calamity or whatever? J sure why not? Besides, the Demon Lord ought to not trouble herself over such trivialities. Velvet, Grimoire's calling for you. She says to bring Lafayette and meet her at the observation tower. Got it. 
We better get going then.